Good morning, everyone, and happy weekend vlog. It is Friday, and I just got done filming my Fasting into Fall with Angela. I also just got done filming all of my product empties. That was a long video. Usually those videos are like 20 minutes or whatever. Today, um, I actually took off work this morning. My sinuses, my allergies have been through the rough. I don't know what is going on. Usually um, people get allergies like at spring, like when all the things are budding and stuff like that. I'm the opposite and my daughter's the opposite too. We have allergy induced like asthma and all that kind of stuff. That happens to us in the fall. And then when we get our first freeze, then it kind of all just goes away. So whatever is flying around the air, I don't know if the farmers are cutting their crops and stuff like that and things are just like flying around here. I'm suffering. My throat hurts. My eyes itch. My The roof of my mouth itches severely. And I'm just kind of going through it. So I've been kind of trucking on along. I don't like taking any medication for things if I don't really need to. I filmed a whole bunch of videos this morning. I'm going to be going to Costco and or Sam's Club with my mom later on today. So I might film a little bit of that. Tomorrow, Rocky Rococo has a vet um, visit. He needs to have his urinalysis, blood work for his kidney uh, disease that he has, and what else? Maybe some immunizations. I don't know. I don't know what he's due for. Uh, we haven't been to the vet in a while. He hasn't had any issues. Um, he still doesn't have any issues. He's been eating fine, healthy, going on walks, stuff like that. So um, they, you know, really want us to have him test his kidney level like every three to six months. But it is, you know, almost $150 every time we do that. So I feel as though if I'm not noticing anything and if we're getting it every six months, that should be okay for now anyway, unless they, you know, really find something and tell me something different. Other than that, I don't really know what else I'm going to be doing this weekend. Oh, my timer went off. I, I actually found some Mediterranean cheesy bread in the freezer and I'm like clearing out my freezer, um, getting ready for my big grocery shop. And I thought, you know what, I need to make these. So I'm going to be making those for my daughter today so she can eat those. Um, because of course I don't have bread anymore. Definitely not white bread anymore. So I need to pop those in the oven. And yeah, I don't know. I have my grocery list all set. I might go to TJ Maxx sometime this weekend also. So Rocky Rococo had this really, really big pink kind of donut shaped bed and it was left over from Snooky Louise and the thing just stunk and he loves going in there he'll like he'll go in there and he'll cry he because he, he's very emotional like me he will hide his toys like in the nook of the donut um he'll chew his bones in there anything naughty he takes all of his naughties in there um if he finds you know like Kleenex on the ground or something he'll pick that up and he'll run in there um, chew his bones in there, whatever, but I had to throw it away because it didn't have one of those zipper things that you could like take off. And the thing was so big, it won't like, I would have to go to a laundry mat to wash it. And I was like, yeah, I, I can't do this anymore. So I'm going to go and I'm going to hunt for something a little bit smaller, but that is still in the shape of a donut. So he can hide things in those crevices. And so he can cry in there and be all emotional and stuff like that. So that may be something that I do. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that today per se, or possibly tomorrow or Sunday. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's going on this weekend. Hey guys, so my mom and I are at TJ Maxx and I forgot, I wanted to find um, also a cinnamon broom. Have you seen those before? No. I guess they're like for fall and it's scented in like a cinnamon spice kind of uh, clovey, potpourri type situation. Excuse me. And um, you hang it by your door and it like when then you, when you open the door it smells like you know potpourri or whatever mm -hmm. but um i'm gonna look for that i'm gonna look for a dog bed and then any other little thing that tickles a fancy what are you looking for uh, yeah. dawn spree 
they don't have that here. This well, is they, TJ Maxx. Maybe they do at Costco. Oh, they will at Costco, yeah. Okay. Dawn, Dawn Spray. Spray, yep. Oh, the power. Yep. I get that. I love it. Yep. Oh, wait. No, it's about 12. In, it's new. Powerade? No. For dishes? Dawn. Yes, but you, you, you can use it on your windows. You can use it everywhere. It's oh. wonderful. Bathtub cleaning, it's wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Look at my mom's shoes. I just noticed them. She said they were $250 and she got them for 50 bucks. Those are cute. I like the gold. Yeah, and it says Michael Kors. She wanted you guys to all see that it said Michael Kors. Yeah, I like those. Those are cute. Oh, so good. You guys, look what I found for $79.99. They have the Mickey Glow Pumpkin. How cute is that? Hey guys, I look a little crazy on my hair and stuff, but we went to Costco. We went to Sam's Club. Um, my mom wanted to get the Pumpkin Premier protein drinks and they only have them at Sam's and they didn't have my daughter's noodles that she usually wants at Costco. So I had to go to Sam's to get those. Um, but I will show you guys what I all bought when I get home. It's just because, you know, I get so stressed out, like when I have to go home and load everything in the house. I wish I had one of those, um, what do you call it? Those like carts that fold up and then you can unfold them and bring everything in um, on wheels. I don't have one of those. And my mom's trunk is so small that even if we did have one of those, that cart would probably take up the whole space in her trunk. But anyway, I'm going to go home. I also got a Caesar salad at Costco, so I'm going to enjoy that. I got my daughter a chocolate chip cookie, so she will enjoy that. Um, and it's getting kind of hot here. It's crazy. I have been waiting here for almost 20 minutes now, and she is not out yet. And I don't know what is happening. Like, I don't know if she got stuck in there. But, I mean, we have all of our Costco food in the car and it's getting hot. Sometimes she has trouble, like, finding the car, as so do I. Um, but I'm looking and I don't see her anywhere. Okay, guys, I have returned and I'm going to show you what I all got at Costco and Sam's. Not a lot, but we'll start here. I got my avocado mash. I can't remember if it was on sale or not. I also got the Kinder's Garlic Parmesan. Um, I picked up my fish oil, the Kirkland. Um, it's always important to get the, what is it? I can't remember. There was something that I saw. Oh, the, the natural sourced wild Alaskan salmon fish oil, whatever. I don't know, you guys. Anyway, I also picked up some um, Garnier uh cleansing water i was looking for the bioderma and they didn't have it but this will do i also picked up some chomps and i got one of the chocolate chip cookies for my daughter i picked up some pants the dan skin pants these are let's see i think these were only like ten dollars i got them in a large and oh they're the scuba pants so they have like they're tight around the ankles or whatever. And then I picked up some heavy cream for my coffee in the morning. I wish they would have had a smaller container, but I can also use this for different things that I'm making, um, like with chicken or stuff in the crock pot or whatever. So I also got a Caesar salad for myself for today um, for my one meal. That is, I believe, 600. And I think I just put it at 700 calories because I wasn't sure how much. Um, and then I also picked up one of these cardigans. They had a 2X out that was super big. So I just picked up the extra large. It is a button down cardigan and it was only $9 from Ella Moss. I got two large organic range free or free range whatever eggs, two containers of those. I picked up for my daughter the Celsius Vibes. This is the Peach, Tropical, and Arctic. I also picked up um, at Sam's Club, this is the Fairlife 
protein powder, 30 grams. I believe it was 12 of them for $21 or something like that. I think, I'm not too sure. Then I also got this cheese, it was on sale, and one of the YouTubers said, get the cheese, so I got the cheese. This is gonna be good to have on the side of my meal. Um, it's a good source of protein and fat combination. Also down here, if you guys can see, I got the chicken breast, the ham, and the roast beef. I also picked up some Kirkland Greek yogurt. This is the organic one. And I got some of the Costco chicken noodle soup. This is amazing. The carrots are not cooked all the way through usually. So I put them in the crock pot and I let it cook for like, oh, somebody took that cookie. I let it cook for like four hours on low or like six hours on high. And then the carrots are cooked all the way through because I do not like a crunchy carrot in my soup. I also got the roasted seaweed. This is supposed to be good for your thyroid. This is the sea salt teriyaki one. So half is sea salt, half is teriyaki. And then for my daughter, I picked up the teriyaki beef um, noodles, like the chow mein noodles or whatever. So that is what I got. I am in heaven. This is my vibe. A nice Caesar salad with a candle lit the window open, the breeze blowing, and croutons. Actually, this is from uh, Costco. This is their salad that they have. I just like put all the toppings on there. I've got crushed red pepper, a little bit of Parmesan, um, and the croutons that come with it. It's loaded with protein. There's a lot of chicken in there. So I'm gonna have this for my one meal. Good morning, everyone. Excuse the dishwasher um, in the background. It's kind of loud. I'm gonna be making my coffee this morning. We are going to go with, hmm, let's go with, let's just do, oh, let's just do this one. The caramel apple pie, I love this one. Put that in there, close it up, and quick put, pick the big one. Kind of try to shimmy my cup underneath here because this is what we're dealing with when we have big long cups like this um but after I'm done making my coffee I'm gonna start getting ready for the day then I'm going to go over to my mom's house to let the dogs out because she has something going on today and then I'm gonna come back here and take Rocky Rococo to the vet nice coffee is made for the day I'm only allowing myself one cup of coffee now a day and it's usually right away in the morning. I know that's probably the worst time to have coffee is right away in the morning on an empty stomach, but it's definitely something that I need to do every day. Just a little something for myself. Hey guys, so I forgot to show you when I got at TJ Maxx. I sort of did, but not really. So I got these Piper K little scrunchies. They were on clearance for $3. They did have other ones there and you only got two scrunchies in that pack and those were $3. But this one, you get one, two, three, four, you get five of them. And these are the colors that I wear. Like I wear the blush pink and I wear, you guys know, a ton of black. Um, so I thought that that was a good deal. And then obviously I picked up some candles because who can go to TJ Maxx without getting candles? Not I, said the fly. So I picked up Beach House. And I buy DW. And I don't know if I've had this candle before. I'd have to like look through the archives and see. I really don't think I have. Maybe. I don't know. I did like the jar. The jar is textured in the shell form. And I love a good seascape, seaside, seashell, see anything. And this one smells really good. So it is two wick. And the wicks are centered. Oh my God, you guys, I am just intoxicated by the scent of ocean air. I love it. The sea salt and everything, it's all in there. Oh, it smells so good. So I picked this one up. This one was $10. Again, they raised their freaking prices. They used to be $7.99. Well, I shouldn't say that. Then they went to 
$9.99. Some of them are $12.99. And now some of them are $14.99. So it all just depends, I feel, on what store you go to. And then the second candle that I got, you guys kind of saw me um, lose the lid of the jar in the store. That was kind of embarrassing. Uh, but no one was watching, thank God. So I got Village Candle Orange Cinnamon. And I've had this one in the past and I've had really good luck with it. I love it. It's perfect for this time of year. It still has the citrus in it. So you still have a touch of that like Indian summer, but then it has the cinnamon in it. So that's the start to the fall. Um, and this one is again, two wick and look at the oil on top. That means that it's loaded. She's definitely loaded. And oh my God, you guys, this is, this is so strong. So if you don't like strong candles, don't get this one. If you do like strong candles, this is the one for you. Look at the oil on the jar. Like the oil is just pouring out. Um, this one was $12.99. Like I said, some of the older ones a Village Candle at TJ Maxx Home Goods are $9.99, but I feel like the newer ones that they're just getting in are $12.99. So that's that one there. Hello. It's okay. Come on out. Come on out. Hi. 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 Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's go potties outside. Let's go potties outside. I know. Oh, heavens. Hi. Okay, let's go potties. So what a scary situation we just had. I was coming back from my mom's house and there was this little tiny dog that ran across the street and the street is like a super busy four lane street and it just ran right in front of all these cars. I slammed on my brakes. Somebody else put their emergency lights on and we waited and I like turned the corner, got out of the car and started trying to call it. And then finally the owner was right there and um, she snuck out the door, little stinker. Sometimes that could happen. I'm trying to get him to poop. Um, so we have a poopy sample for when we go to the vet's office. And I know he wants to go for a WALK, but I'm not gonna let him. Um, it's breezy, I need to put a, a hoodie on. Let's go this way. Come on, let's go this way. Yeah, let's try to go this way. Let's see if we can get some poo-poos out of you. So when we go to the vet, we look like responsible pet owners. Hey guys, so we are at the vet's office. Rocky is getting ready to go inside. He's a little bit nervous. He's shaking a little bit. Um, I was able to get that poop sample and I was also able to get the tinkle sample this morning. So we are set. Not too sure if I'm going to have him get the allergy shot. He's been itching a little bit at his ears. I'm going to have them look at them today and see what they think. Um, depending on if he needs any other immunizations today, though, that will determine if I get the um, allergy shot because I don't like giving too many immunization shots at the same time. Um, I just heard that that's really bad for their system. So here we go. Here we are in the vet's office. Aw, oh, you guys, I feel so bad. So Mr. Rocky Rococo, they took him in the back to draw blood and he does have very, very tiny veins and they have it in his chart where like he is difficult to draw and they needed to do the, let me just roll the window down for him a little bit there. There we go. They needed to do um, the Lyme whatever test. Um, and then they also needed to do the liver and kidney values for him. Thank goodness I brought in the urinalysis. They still weren't sure if they got enough blood or not. I think they were able to run one test, possibly not the other, but he said if they had enough blood for the second, like, or if they didn't, they would let me know. Um, but he is just so upset and they said that they didn't want to bother him anymore. Like it, like he's been through it. So he came back with a little bandage on my poor baby. 
mama's poor baby. So now I have to take that off in an hour, they said, just to leave it on so it doesn't, um, so it doesn't cause like any hemorrhage or anything like that. Oh my heavens to bets. Um, so it was, I believe, let me just look at the bill here, $350 for all of the tests in all of the lands. And he got um, a Lyme, Lyme vaccine. There was one vaccine that he needed. So one vaccine, two different blood panel tests, um, a stool sample test for parasites, and then also the urinalysis stuff. So it's like, that's a lot of stuff. Those are a lot of tests. So yeah, $350, it's pretty much it. And then I think he's also due January for another one, maybe just one. I can't remember. There was one, um, one that I turned down though. I can't remember. Oh, it was the Kennecoff one. I turned that down just because she said, you know, do you take him around like a lot of other dogs that are not vaccinated or do you take him like to a daycare or something like that? I don't. And like we, the only place that he really goes where other dogs are is the groomer. And I mean, it should be fine there. So I opted against the kennel cough one and she said that we've never gotten that one before anyway. So I felt pretty secure about not getting that one. But oh, the poor baby. Poor mi So he's going to sleep for the rest of the day, I know for sure. Hey guys, trigger warning. I'm going to test my glucose. I've got my monitor here with the little stick underneath it. Um, I already swabbed and cleaned my finger with these little alcohol wipes. And this is my trigger gun type situation. I'm going to press this in. That means it's ready to go. And we are going to test the glucose because um, it's before, let's see, what time is it? It is 12.30. I'm feeling a little bit, not lightheaded, but just like hungry, hungry. But like symptoms like my blood sugar is a little bit low. And I may be mistaken, I don't know. Um, but we'll see what it is. And it is 89. So that is not low at all. That Like, that's perfect. It's fine. It's not too high. It's not too low for me. Too low is like low 70, upper 60. That is too low for me. Um, so that's not bad at all. So I'm just going to do some electrolytes. And we will go from there um, and see what we can do um, to get me feeling normal again, I should say. Not really normal, just like to give a little pep in my step, if you will. So put this back and then get the electrolytes. For the electrolytes, I can use two different ones here. I can just use straight up Celtic sea salt. Um, this is really good, um, but I kind of want something a little bit extra. So today I'm going to go with the liquid IV. This is the sugar-free one. And this one is either peach, white peach, or lemon lime. So let's open it up and see what we get. It's always a surprise each and every time. Ooh. So I chose the peach. That's what it looks like here. And basically I filled up my water and I will just pour the packet if I can get it open into my water and stir it around there we go stir 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 a little more stirring and Perfect. Mm. Okay, Thumbs up. guys, I am going to end the weekend vlog here. I hope you all had a fabulous weekend. It is Sunday when you guys are watching this. Don't forget to relax today. 
just, you know, take some time for yourself. Whether you get outside and walk if it's nice where you are, whether you read a book or play your favorite video game or call a friend and go out for coffee or do something today for yourself. So I will see you guys all next weekend. If there are any videos that you guys want me to record, uh, let me know in the comment section down below. Otherwise, have a great day. God bless and we will see you guys soon. Bye everyone.